Hey everyone, it is Anna from Little Wink Sleep. I am excited to have Pierre and Angie at Pop. And she's a mom of two, a four year old and eight month old, and currently on mat leave, but she's going back to her marketing job in the tech space later this year. And she's always learning, pursuing her own version of a minimalist lifestyle and trying to incorporate creativity into her life as much as possible. This idea of minimalism is just um, kind of keeping what is valuable to you. And for me, I have cupboards. I have a built-in with cupboards and my children's toys are in those cupboards and my space looks really tidy. They're full of toys because my kids are, that's valuable at this stage in their life. And so, yes, it, it might look different than some people's, but I think that's exactly it is that you can kind of make your own version of minimalism. And at its mm-hmm. core, what I find is that minimalism in my physical spaces in my mental space and my digital space all enables <laughs> kind of, it doesn't remove the chaos because I'm in chaos. I'm a mom. Yeah there are some things that are structured and ordered um, and feel less cluttered in all of those spaces that then I leave room for a relationship, leave room for me to feel more present with my kids, leave room for me to have pursuits outside of motherhood, which I know we share, (laughs) we, it's it's life-giving. And I think in turn brings us back to our kids more, I don't know, re- I don't even know if like reinvigorated, but revitalized and yeah, just, just maybe with a bit more energy, just because we're energy energized differently from other things to bring back to them. But we are heading into the stage of, you know, my son, he's four and he's starting to be like, can you hold on to this? Or this is special to me, or, you know, like he's, he's beginning to develop those favorite sentimental things. And so that's a new yeah. thing we'll have to navigate because so far I've just been like, meh, okay, that can go. Listen, you know, toys, we'll talk them through it, but still I like make the call, you know? So yes. and we'll how see. are those conversations going? You know what? He is very, uh, I would say he understands. I would say he, you know, it's, it's sort of that thing with like food or sleep where you kind of just like it's practicing. And so I'm yeah. kind of constantly you know, whether it's communicating that maybe there are kids that could use the toys that he has that would otherwise not have them. Um, we especially do that around Christmas time. Um, or, you know, just being like, you haven't played with this and I, are you going to? And if he says yes, then I say, okay, I'm going to leave it here for like a week. And if you play with it, great, we'll keep it. But if you don't, then I'm going to cycle it out. And then I cycle it out and I don't get rid of it right away because I just, I'm like, if he's going to remember it, I don't want it to be the sneaky thing. Like, oh, I just threw it out, but then I'll give it a month. And if he doesn't mention it, it's like, okay, it's not on his brain. You know, there's other things. And then, and then it goes, but now sometimes he'll even say things like, oh, this can, this can go in the box downstairs or, or this can go to a kid who doesn't need it. So I do love that. That's rare, but I do love that it's in his understanding I think that we're building yeah. together yeah. yes and it is a building process even as parents like just kind of like getting those systems in place mm-hmm. and teaching those to our kids as well because like kids communicate through routine and structure like yes it doesn't mean Definitely that does. it, yes. it doesn't mean that they like through strictness it's routine and structure like knowing that these things come and go that like you know our value is not in the things that we mm-hmm. hold, but in who we are, mm-hmm. right? And the relationships that we hold. Absolutely. He knows that too with his art. Like I don't, I, there are a couple pieces that I'll hold on to that just, I can't bear to let go of, but I take photos of all of his like art that is like, say he has 10 that are the same things. Cause kids get into patterns and, you know, he's drawing robots like for a week. I'll pick, I'll pick one that kind of sums up that stage or, or now he started asking like, um, can you take a picture of this? And then he knows I'll take a picture of it. And then I put it in a chat book an art book. And then when he's five, I'm going to print it and it'll be his first five years of all his art. Um, and also there's a bluey episode, I think where they like cycle the pictures. And, and so that was actually really helpful to be like, we are recycling them, but I'm also taking a picture 
Like I'm, I still yeah. value holding on to it. So he's kind of getting into my rhythms a little bit. And um, we'll see again when he starts being able to kind of advocate a bit better. <laughs> yeah, they, what oh, no mom. <laughs> yeah, we've we'll had we've admittedly watched a few YouTube videos on like, you know, paper recycling, you know, oh, like how we have to like, you know, like we can't keep all of the paper because like if we're able to recycle it, they're able to make more yeah. recyclable and we're able to buy recycled paper rather than like new paper. I and love so, that approach. Yeah. And so then they're just kind of like, that's been a part of like how we're getting rid of the art stuff. Mm -hmm. 